philo-semitism or judeophilia is an interest in, respect for, and appreciation of the Jewish people, their historical significance, and the positive impacts of Judaism on the world, particularly on the part of a Gentile. Within the Jewish community philo-semitism includes the significance of Jewish culture and their love of everything Jewish. Overview. The concept of philo-Semitism is not new, avowed by such thinkers as 19th-century philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche, who described himself as an anti-anti-Semite, enjoying a recent surge. It is characterized by an interest in Jewish culture and history and manifested in increasing university enrollment by non-Jews in courses such as Judaism, Hebrew, and Jewish languages. Philo-Semitism has been met by a mixed response from the Jewish community. Some warmly welcome it and argue that it must lead Jews to reconsider their identity. Others, citing the special status that it implicitly gives to Jews even as its apparent opposite anti-Semitism does, reject it as running contrary to the Zionist goal of making Jewry a nation among nations. Philo-Semitism is an expression of the larger phenomenon, of allophilia, admiration of foreign cultures as embodied in the more widely known Anglophilia and Francophilia. The rise of philo-Semitism has also prompted some to reconsider Jewish history, and they argue that while anti-Semitism must be acknowledged, it is wrong to reduce the history of the Jewish people to one merely of suffering. Even though a non-Jew is not required to convert to Judaism or may even be advised against doing so, Halakha does require all non-Jews to abide by certain commandments. These are the seven laws of Noah, and Gentiles who accept the seven laws in their traditional interpretation identify as Noahides. From history, one notable example of philo-Semitism is that of the Polish king Casimir III the Great. While the Jewish emancipation wouldn't begin in other countries until toward the end of the 1700s, in Poland Jews had been granted the freedom of worship, trade and travel in 1264 by Bolslaw the Pious. By the 15th century more than half of all diaspora Jews were living in Poland, which kept its status as the main center of Ashkenazi Jewry until the Holocaust. Very few Jews live in East Asian countries but Jews are viewed in an especially positive light in some of them, partly owing to their shared wartime experiences in the Second World War. Examples include South Korea and China. In general, Jews are positively stereotyped as intelligent, business savvy and committed to family values and responsibility. In South Korean primary schools the Talmud is mandatory reading. In World War II, Japan put efforts into helping Jews escape demise by the Nazis, despite the fact that the country was then a member of the Axis Alliance. The Japanese diplomat Chun Sugihara facilitated the escape of more than 6,000 Jewish refugees to Japanese territory, risking his career and his family's lives. In 1985, he was honored by the State of Israel as righteous among the nations. The American singer Madonna once called herself an ambassador for Judaism during a meeting with Prime Minister of Israel Shimon Peres, where they exchanged gifts, Madonna giving him a volume of the Zohar inscribed to Shimon Peres, the man I admire and love, Madonna. Although she herself does not practice Judaism, she has studied Kabbalah, given her son a bar mitzvah celebration and taken a Hebrew name. Esther. The controversial term philosemitism arose as a pejorative in Germany to describe positive prejudice towards Jews. In other words, a philosemite is a Jew lover or Jew friend.